What is going on you guys? Adam Moose here. Welcome back to another video of Moving Weight Fishing and today we're doing a little bit of golden tile fishing, catching beautiful tiles. Got Victor behind the camera. Say what's up Vic. What's up Vic? <laughs> Just watch the video. We'll see you in a little bit. What you got going on Vic? Oh baby, we are on. I don't know. I hooked something really good on bottom. It's giving me major amberjack vibes, but... Really? Yeah. It's not really doing like the tuna no, tail. No, you're right. I just saw that slow. I'm just happy to be tight with my boys in 2023. Wow. Vic's all, Vic's all about the new year. I'm all about the good company this year. I don't know, dude. It's Very Jack-esque. Yeah. Huh. I'm just happy to be tight. You heard it from the from the mustad man himself. <laughs> Vic is happy to be tight. Oh, there's no weight at the end? No, the weight's on the top. On rat. We got one on. They're biting, Chief. You can't even fish. It's a nice fish. We got a nice one on. Catching a couple goldens. Uh, not really, Chief. Yeah. Oh yeah, I must have had a, I must have had a nice one on that came off because that thing's a rat. Yeah, we had a bite on the last. Yeah, trip. yeah. We had two. We had yeah, one right yeah. here on that mackerel too. We had three bites. Yeah. Three bites on that drop, and it was it felt really heavy, and we were like, "What the heck?" When, when we came up with this little guy, get the hook out and show you him. Little rat. This is the species we're looking for, but. We're looking for 10, 15, 20 pounders, not a three pounder, but we'll take them. I think we got a couple nice fish on here. Um, just did another drop with the L bar and that thing was stalling heavy. They are definitely biting. And uh, Victor is finally gonna get his line out. He, he was doing some type of tomfoolery on the other side of the boat. Vic, what were we doing on the other side of the boat here? Oh, I was getting actually rid of your mess that you made Okay, earlier. listen, it was not my mess. It was. If anyone's mess, it was crystals. It was crystals if it was any mess. Might have been Chiefs with this, with this 90 degree beanie. Uh -huh. You know, it's a new year. Wow. New you, Adam, you should start taking accountability. Listen, this is, this is for all the people, this is for everybody out there watching that says, new year, new me, this, that, yada, yada, yada. New here's, year, same baked potato. Here's what I gotta say, here's what I gotta say about new year, new me. Why do you have to wait for a number 2023 to change something in your life or oh once tomorrow hits i'm gonna start doing this why don't you just why don't you just wake up that day and do it that's only that's that's the only reason i'm a little bit sour about new year's resolutions why not just do it why do you got to wait for something to tell you you know you know what i'm saying dennis that's how i feel about it i'm not trying to put anybody down but i'm just saying why do you gotta why you gotta be a loser for the rest of the week until 2023 it's a goober lifestyle <laughs> One hundred. We're getting close, boys and girls. I I would rather just see one yumbo. To see some color. Like one nice one. Not too nice. Oh, he's a rat. I had to pull one off there, Chief. That thing was stalling out. Unless I was caught up in the mud. Oh, I caught a starfish. Are you Tom Sweenering me? What? That starfish was pulling that hard? Look at that. <laughs> Just caught that from the depth, as it were. You're coming out of the mud? Yeah. No, I was getting multiple bites. Mackerels all chewed up. They definitely like the mackerel strips. It really upsets me that you think that dolphin 
I, they're 100 percent baked potatoes, Beck. I can't believe we're still having this conversation. Listen, this is all I'm gonna say. This is all I'm gonna say. When I stick my knife into a dolphin's belly to gut it, and it instantly smells horrific, who wants to eat that? Vic, am I wrong about that statement? You're not wrong, but I don't eat any of the guts of any of my fish, so I don't know. I don't either, but that's their diet. They're 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 eating raggedy. You know what else smells really bad? Swordfish, which is like thirty dollars a pound. Swordfish swordfish is not even that great. Whoa. It's good, but it like you eat swordfish one time. You can't, it's not something you can eat every day. Let's be honest, Vic. One, number one, it's way too much mercury. Number two, it's not even to die for. Like, it's pretty good, but after you eat it once, you're like, all right, I have my swordfish fix. Something I could eat every day. Steak. Steak. Okay. That's pretty much it. I could eat tuna every day. I'll say. Tuna is really, I could eat tuna every day too. I love tuna. Steak is so much better than fish. But if I were to eat a fish, which I do all the time, I'm not saying I don't like fish. I would eat that. People that fish that don't eat fish are suspect. We got one on. You can see him down there doing a little bounce foolery. I'm going to keep this and try and get greedy here. Probably not the best idea. Look at the Vic foolery that's going on here, you guys. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even. I just know. really wanted to see if he could fit him in his mouth. It's two baked potatoes just sitting in a tree. Two sweet potatoes. Those sweet, are sweet, sweet potato casserole. Wow. Sweet potato casserole. Wow, that is a sweet potato casserole, as it were. We got we got one on here. On the non-recreational side of the boat, we got one on. What? Me an old triple. Way to go, Adam. He said, I'm gonna keep it down there, keep it greedy. Listen, this is what Victor's been catching. And uh, what's, what's really sad about Kyle fishing is if you were a recreational fisherman, you catch this, or if you throw it back, I, I mean, you can look at him. Looks like Billy Joel. He's not gonna <laughs> swim far, he's dead. So. Once, once you hook them, bring them up, pretty much got to throw them in the boat. We're commercial fishing, so we can keep a lot more than we'll be able to catch today, but we did get a couple nice ones. Vic, hold it up for a little what double. What I was trying to say is, if you're a recreational guy, one per person per day. So if there's four of us out here, we could only keep four. We, we, we will, we'd be way over our limit. Chief's got a special permit on this boat that allows him to keep up to 500 pounds of power, which we're nowhere near. Got a little triple on that drop, boys and girls. Harder and just think about this. I'm foolery schoolery. We're going back down. We got a few towels in the boat right now. Not the size fish that we we're looking for. Definitely on the smaller side, but it's better than Vic. All right, we just hooked a nice tile fish. Wow, he's throwing us out. I don't know, Chief. I'm telling you, this is a nice one. Why do you think Adam's fishing? I'm fishing with. Because he yeah, loves you. Desperate. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I don't. I haven't had my boat for a few months. Fish was some zeal. Yeah, some. Man, very minimal. We might have to put Vic on a couple mackerels when we go, just on the way in, just, just to raise. His, <laughs> just to raise his zeal. I had the most zeal of It's very diminished today, Chief. I've never no. seen it so diminished. I think we could fish two rods, Chief. I really do. I think you're very soft. The back. slow pitch? No. I think we could fish too deep. I think we just maybe we go tangled. light on this one and heavy on that one because it wants to scope that way. It just keeps scoping that way. I don't know. I do know we got a nice towel. I would like, I'd like to see at least a 10 pounder today. I call my Definitely looks nice. Oh boy. It's definitely one of the nicer ones. Get a blue on it, man. That's a good one. He ate the mackerel very standardly. It's a beautiful golden tile fish. So lit up. 
I know Vic's gonna take a few home for dinner. They are delicious. They also sell really good, so quality fish overall. I love but, their uh, fins. Yeah, dude. They're sick fish. I don't know. Not probably not big. What? Six pounds? Yeah. I don't know. He's a beauty though, and we're gonna catch him more. Hi, right, boys and girls. We are doing a little bit of golden pile fishing today. We got a real nice one on right now too. What we got going on, Vic? This might be the biggest fish of the day is what's going on. I know you really wanted to go mackerel fishing, but I wanted to drop one more time out here. Adam's out of the mackerel game. I am, I am. We got a couple fish in the box right now. Hey guys, this is probably going to be the last It's a nice pile. one. Wow, wow, wow. Well, he's not the smallest, but he's not the biggest. Yeah, he's all right. That's what he is. We had another one on. We had another one on, Chief. That could have been the, the issue. Oh, we had a few Ooh. bites there. What? Yeah. Look, my bottom hook's gone, and then this one macro got bit off. We might have had a few fish on that drift. Or on that drop there. Beauty. Another beautiful tile fish. Again, we're going for... What do you think? Bigger size fish. It's up to, it's up to Victor. I don't care. But, uh, you know, we'll still take this one. That's a good bite. Come on. That's got to be a good one. We just hooked a really nice fish. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we get this fish in the boat here. Could be a nice 10 pounder. All we want is one 10 pounder and we'll leave. <laughs> Ooh, double. 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 double, you had two, dude. And we're never gonna get a nice one. Mm-hmm. Oh, double ski. He's starting to put a paycheck together, huh? Something like that, man. We should have been out here at sunrise. <laughs> Try to pop for some black tuna. What do you gotta say about that, Chief? <laughs> <laughs> Tried to pop for some Chief had food. Chief had popper fever this I morning. I did, I did. It's an addiction. Another beauty, they seem all to be around the same size, like yeah. five pounds. Can't get any big ones today, but it seems like on the radio that is uh that's what everybody else is catching, so whatever. Nothing you can do but grind it out, boys. Okay, it's Adam's third yeah, fish. He's good now. What do you got to say, young man? I don't know. I don't think he's very big. Chief thinks he's a really nice one. I, I don't know here. I don't, he looks like he's spinning. Adam's doing one of those things today where he's got zero zeal, I zero mean, motion. Listen, how much zeal can you have? You're so deep sad. Dropping. You're deep dropping for tile fish. You're a commercial fisherman. You should have zeal. You're putting fish in the boat. Uh, look at Chief's zeal. Listen, what all I mean? said is, is Adam's 19. And Chief's 45, or I don't know how 62. old he is. 62 and he's got... <laughs> hey, that was a compliment, right? I know, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Chief's got way more zeal at a much later age. You're on the decline. I'm, I'm on the decline, listen. I don't know what it's going to be like for me in my 20s. <laughs> it's a year away. It is a year away. In my away. 20s. Very depressing year. Out here trying to scrap Kids the these days just got it too easy. They just want a hundred yeah. tile fish in the boat at all times. Shark, you got a shark. Oh man. What? I think it's one of those cool green eyed sharks. None of them are cool. <laughs> yep, it's a green eyed shark. Is it edible? Um, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it, it gotta be edible. Oh, yeah. Wait, they're the ones with no teeth, right? No, I think they have teeth. No. Is he green yeah, or no? Yeah, oh, they're that. really cool looking. Stick your finger in his mouth, see if he has teeth. <laughs> Does he have teeth? Of course he has teeth, he's a shark. Even nerve sharks have teeth. Alrighty boys and girls, we're back at the dock. Welcome back to another day of Christmas. We got our that, our little basket full of tiles, probably around 60 pounds or so. And uh, we gutted all these fish already. I just went ahead and gutted them all, rinsed them off with salt water, and uh, they are going to the market. Chief is gonna take one. Chief. 
Vic yeah. is gonna, Chief is gonna take one, one of the Yido ones. Oh, oh, Baked nice. potatoes for dinner. Go Vic is a really good cook. I really do think about his food quite often. Yeah, every night. Had any yet, so I'm very suspect of giving him a tile right now. Chief had a suspect accident about 30 minutes ago on the boat that I think he lost, I think he lost all invites to dinner at Vic's house. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, we are back in my room now. I got a few things to say, so stay with me. We are going to give you a, a breakdown of the profit that we made, but I'm going to say a few things, so just hold on. First and foremost is, if you have made it this far in the video, I want to personally thank you for watching the whole video. If you have watched the whole video, please go ahead, drop a like, comment something, say something positive. We don't need any negative comments. Say something nice and uh, share a video with a friend. It really helps the channel. Okay, my next point. I am fully open for charters now. If you guys have not heard already, um, I am fully open for charter fishing. Moveandweightcharters.com. It will be the first link down below. And if you guys would love to support the dream, it's a great opportunity for you guys to come meet me. Come see the new boat. Come fishing. I've had nothing but great reviews. Everybody that's watched a channel that's come and book a charter so far has had an awesome time. It's it's nothing but good times fishing with me. I'm, I'm just... I'm just going to tell you ahead of time, you're going to enjoy it. Um, yeah, and uh, I love meeting people that watch the videos, and we and we get to, you know, shoot the, I'm not going to say the bad word, but we get to shoot it, you know, and uh, have a good time. But before we get into the commercial breakdown, behind me, merchandise. We got windbreakers. We got hoodies. We got hats. Don't know if we have shirts anymore, but we have all that good stuff. Moveandweightfishing.com. Yes, moveandweightfishing.com. We got a lot of websites these days. Um, now, this is the part everybody wants to know because everybody in the comments is always saying, Hey, Brandon, what you got on? No, everybody in the comments is always saying, Adam, how much did you guys make on this video? Yada, yada, yada. Sometimes I don't answer. I'm going to start answering. You guys want to know, I'm going to tell you. So, we had 82 pounds of tilefish. 82. I believe we got $9 a pound. I believe we do. Times 9. $738. Okay, everybody can see that. $738. We had some mackerels in there from the day before, so we'll just go ahead and count them in. We had about 100 bucks in mackerels. So, let's say... Let's say 8, 830. 838. 838. I get paid 30% when I fish with Chief. Obviously, when I'm commercial fishing on my own boat, if I'm paying a mate, I pay the mate 30%, and then 30% goes to my boat, and then I get 30%. Um, so technically, I get 60 but I still obviously have to give a cut to the boat because the boat needs to be maintained, the boat needs to run. When I fish with Chief, I get paid 30%. So, 838 times 0.30. I only made $251 that day. Now, I did get to film a great video. I did get to go fishing with my friend. So, I'm not complaining about it. But it's not a high profit day, commercial fishing. But sometimes that's how it goes. It's the life I chose to live. It's the life I love. And uh, probably going to do it till the day I die. But, what did we even have in expenses? Who the heck knows? Probably a lot. We ran out to the tile grounds and that burn that boat burned a lot of fuel. But um Yeah. So that is what I got for you guys. That's it. Stay tuned. We're about to start pumping out content like you would not believe. You would not believe it if I told you how much content we're gonna pump out. You wouldn't believe it. So until next video, moving weights out.